Hello everyone, this is Joshua. I'll be solving some Hacker Rank SQL questions. As you can see, I solved it before. The question is, can I solve it again? We'll be starting with only the weather. Whoa. We'll be starting with only the weather observation station one. Let's begin. Alrighty. I want to reset this. Uh, please don't tell me he's going to say my answers. Good. All right. So query a list of city and state from the station. So what I'll be doing is I'll be teaching you how to write some SQL statements at the same time I'll be trying to solve it. And I hope it's successful because I forgot how to do SQL. So I want to query a list of city and state. So you can see the fields that we want in a city and state from the station table. So in SQL, we usually select our columns, uh, MySQL, excuse me. We select the columns by doing select. And if we want the specific columns, we take the two columns that we want, which is city and state. And um, by the way, case sensitivity doesn't matter, but just to make this easier to read, I usually um, do only uppercase for the key the keywords and the labels, I usually do lowercase. And okay, so from, where do I want to get these columns from? I have to get it from the station table. So do station. You can end it with a semicolon usually to end it, like to show that it's the end of a SQL query statement. But um, it's preferable that, I don't know, I mean, it could still work without it, I bet. So let's see what happens. Wow. Hacker Rank must be slow today. All right, good, good. Did I miss anything? Awesome. Now, if we run it against its one test code, it should still run perfectly. That's great. That's great. That's great. All right, good. Next question. Let's try another basic select question. Let's do most of the weather observation questions. Where's weather observation number two? Okay. Let's just do unsolve. Let's just do solve, I suppose. Interesting, I don't see weather observation number two. I suppose we'll skip that one to weather observation number three. Let's see what happens. Okay, so query a list of city names. Okay, this is what we can do, a list of city names. We have the field of city from the station table. And we only want the even ID numbers only. And you may print the results in any order, but must exclude duplicates from your answer. Ah. Wow. Well, let's see what happens. <sighs> oh, shit. Let's do MySQL. All right. So let's start. We want to select city names. That's like I mentioned. Select means we have to choose what columns we want from the table name, which is going to be a station. Now, let's see. We could print it in any order. That's good. So we don't have to use any of those keywords relating to that but we must exclude duplicates. I think it's called distinct. Huh, I don't know about that. Okay, and we only want even ID numbers only. So usually if we want to add a condition to whatever columns we choose, like a filter, I use the where statement. And in this case, it's where the ID has to be even. So ID modulus of two should equal zero. Oh my goodness. I doubt it's a percent sign. Maybe it's just mod comma two, but let's find out. I don't even know if distinct is the right word. It's been a while, guys. Oh boy. Distinct is not here. If we remove distinct, would it still work? Let's see what happens. All right, so the issue I bet is the, let's see. I think there's some repeats in here. I bet there is. So how am I gonna do this? Hmm. All right, guys, I think I found out the answer. I think we have to use the keyword before the columns. So we know that we want to only get distinct city values, not afterwards. So unfortunately, order does kind of matter in how you put the keywords. Oh my goodness, I was hoping that it would work and it did work. I was like, I don't know, give it a shot. Okay, cool. Oh my goodness, guys. I'm on a roly poly. Oh, let's do another weather observation question. Weather observation number four. Now, these are just easy questions. Once we get to the harder weather observation questions, I think I'm going to do a few at a time. Right now, we'll just roll over the easy ones. Let n be the number of city entries. Okay. 
and prime be the number of distinct city names and station. Okay, so query the value of n minus n prime from station. So we want to find the difference between the total number of city entries and the number of, so there could be the total number, which includes duplicates, but we also want to subtract from the, we also want to subtract from the numbers this, so we want to find the difference of, you know, maybe like the number of extra duplicate cities that are inside this, oh no. Why is it saving these Oracle? Uh, well, anyways, let's go ahead and do this. So we want to select the city names, okay, from station. Now, specifically what we want to do is we want to, okay, select city from station. All right, now we want to, um, huh, and be the number of city entries and station and prime be the number of distinct city names. So there's something called count. What count does, it gets the number of, um, it counts the number of values that you extract from a certain field from the station that is permissible. In this case, we're just counting the number of city names regardless of the duplicates. So if there's duplicates, we still count them. Now we want to subtract it from the count of distinct city names. Let's hope this works because I'm, I'm guessing right here. So we're doing it like an expression right here where we just take the total count of city names and the total count of distinct city names. Now if this doesn't work, then I'm intrigued how I even solved it in the first place. Oh my gosh, lucky guess guys. So I'll repeat again what's happening. I'm using this special keyword called count which takes the count of the city queries that I got from the original station. But I also want to compare it with the distinct number of cities which means there's no duplicates and we subtract that difference and we get that value 13. I think an issue is that um no actually it's good let's submit it and see what happens sweet totally all right let's do the next one uh so we did three right one three four do we do four or do we do well oh, please don't tell me i'm repeating uh, yeah, I did this already. Let's do number five. I would say memory is not my strength sometimes. Query the two cities and station, the shortest and longest city names, as well as their respective lengths, and the number of characters in their name. If there's more than one smallest or largest city, choose the one that comes first when ordered alphabetically. If there's more than, oh my gosh, you guys are going to be learning a lot here today. So let's we'll say here we'll be selecting, let's do MySQL. We'll be selecting city from the station table. Okay, that's easy. But now we want to get two cities only. The one that has the shortest name and the one that has the longest city name. Along with that, we want their lengths as well. <sighs> Let me think how to get the lengths of those characters. Uh, So first we want the shortest. Let's get that one at the very least. So I think I want, hmm. So I'm gonna select the min of the city, of the length of city. I think this is how you get the length. So length probably takes the, the length of the query. I think that's how this word is used. And min means getting the smallest amount of whatever query you're getting in this field. So let's just say it's a bunch of links of all the cities that we're gonna get queried right here. Let's just experiment. This is actually return the, the links of the city. Sometimes you can do this. Um, I don't know in your respective companies. I'm not sure about how MySQL works, but it can be expensive. You can run too many queries. All right, so it does return a bunch of the links of city query names. Now the next thing you wanna do is you want only the smallest, which is the min. And if you get the min, you get the correct value. In this case, it should be three. I'm assuming this test case is corresponding to the values up here. Sorry, up here. So you should get three. That's correct. Now it wants the city name. In this case, it should be ABC. Now here's another thing you can do. There's something called concat. What concat does, it concatenates the results of what it's querying um, inside um, its um, enclosure. 
So in this case, it's going to only concatenate this, the minimum length of the whole all the cities here, but we want the name of that city too. So let's see here. This gets the minimum length of city name. I'm thinking how I can query that city length also. I think it's too early for that. Uh, I let me think about this. All right, so I'm going to take a risk. I'm I'm going to go and make a bunch of SQL query statements. So I don't think the concat can work effectively here at the moment. I can't think fast right now. So I'm going to do multiple different queries right here. So I'm going to do select and select the city from station. And this time I'm going to use the where condition just to get um, where the length of the city name is going to equal. Ah, I have a good idea, guys. Let's see what happens. So I'm going to query the city and the length of the city. So I'm going to show these two values, but only where the length of that city is going to be equal to the minimum length of the city. So in this case, we are getting, we are filter, we are filtering for the smallest value, but we, smallest value and its name, but only when the condition is that the length of that city is the smallest city in that station. So in this case, it should show the city name and link to that city at the same time. It should show ABC3. Oh, valid use of group function. Huh, the length of city is equal to the minimum length of city. Hmm. Okay. What it can do, now this is another way I can do this. So I think this where is not going to work. I could do order by. And order by means that you arrange it to, in a certain order um, from, could be from top to bottom. I mean, it could be highest value to lowest value. In this case, that would be descending. Or it could be just left alone and it'll be automatically ascending. So if we do this one, I should get all the values in the order. But I only want one. If I want to prevent it from only getting one, I use limits and one. This offsets it by one so that we only get the top value that is the lowest um, if it's ordered by minimum. Oh, wait. No, we should do, oh, shoot. I'm sorry, I messed this up. It should be ordered by length of city, not ordered by the minimum because we don't, this already groups it. Uh, this already selects the small one. We want the length ordered by the length of the city. Now we should do from ascending to descending. So it should get the, wait, three, huh. Does it work? Okay, guys, so I'm assuming maybe they choose a different name than just Roy. Hmm. Choose the one that comes first, one ordered alphabetically. Ah, there can be multiple names that are alphabetical. So in this case, I won't just do order by length of city, but if there's a, a tie, I also do order by city. Hmm. Okay, guys. Oh, let's just make this consistent. Let's run the code. Try that. It now should just be ABC something. Maybe ammo three. I think that's closer to what we want. And we want the larger city as well. So it's almost like this, except instead of using, um, instead of ordering it by um, ascend descending order, we're going to do it from, let's see here. Can descending order up, will that work? Or is it going to just show the same value? And I separated by the semicolon values. Oh my gosh, guys. Lucky guess. All right. So when it does it by descending order is that it starts with the maximum value. But then we do it from this order, it's ascending value. So it ascends. So that means we get, you know, top values from where it starts before it starts right here. It starts um, before it starts ascending. So we get the smallest value. Before it starts ascending, we get the largest value. And we got the correct values, guys. Lucky guesses. And here again, what I'm doing is I'm querying the city and its length. But when we're querying those cities and its length, we only want to get it by the order of, you know, ascending or descending, as I mentioned. And if it's not, if there's a tie, we use the alphabetical order as a determinator. And we limit by one. We only want one value. All right, this is a great start so far. Hot diggity damn, dog. All right, now let's try weather observation number six. If it's too tricky, guys, I'm going to cut out and end the video. Query list of city names starting with vowels A E I O U. 
Okay, and your result can contain duplicates. So we already talked about what you can do to not contain duplicates. Let's do my SQL. All right. <clears throat> so again, where we want to get those column names from city, from the station, but we don't want it to be. We want it to be distinct. All right, and we want it with vowels a e i o u. Hmm. My right. instinct is to use the where. Perhaps I could do a substring. Is there a better way? I think there's something called a starts with. No, it doesn't work here. But I think let's try a substring of city and zero to one. Okay. Huh. I'm thinking we're doing in A E I O U. And this time we should put this in quotation marks. So the in is like, I don't know if this is the right way to use it, but what usually the in does, the keyword that says you could find the element um, that the substring right here, we only want the first letter, that's why it's from 0 to 1, where the first letter is A E I O U. So it has to be in A E I O U, and those values will be accepted. I don't know if that's the right way to do it, but we'll find out. If not, then I'm going to look this up. I'm going to cut this part out, and yeah, we'll see what happens. All right, I probably did this wrong. So I want to try to look up if there's a better way than using substring, and if there's another way how to use this end statement. Ah! Oh, hey, guys. I think I found out one of my issue was I what I did use the where statement instead of the select did I use the where statement instead of the select statement? Oh my gosh. If that was the reason why everything was failing. Alright guys, I think there's multiple ways to solve this one. Let me see if this works. Eh, I think it's better to use regular expressions. So here's what's happening. So um, I select, you know, just distinct city names. I don't want any duplicates from the station value. And I only want the city values to start with A-E-I-O-U. This is called regular expressions. So, and this is a regular expression keyword for MySQL. What it does is that it queries specifically the city column name, cities with the city column name that has um, A-E-I-O-U, starting with A-E-I-O-U, this carried me, <coughs> Excuse me. This A E I U means it starts with the starts with these first character has to be a vowel, and um, this dot means it could be any character. It could be a wild character. It could be nothing, and it has to have one or zero or more characters of that wild card. So basically, it has to start with A E I O U, and it could be any number of letters after that. But it only has to start with A E I O U, and this is the MySQL query statement for that one. Now this was a uh, it was a little tricky because I was looking into this the whole time where the issue was instead of putting select, I accidentally put it where, and that's why everything was failing. Um, so if I submit this one right now, this should be passing. I think I did enough MySQL problems for today. Um, hope you enjoyed this content. I'm going to do more weather observation questions. Please like, comment below, and if you have a better solution, Add it in the comment section and I'll pin it to the top saying you are a star, a Patrick star. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. See you guys.